Hey, welcome back to JG3 Reviews in my little corner of the fountain pen community. My name is James, and this is where we explore the world of fountain pens, ink, and paper. And today, it is this little pen right here, the all-new Jinhao Dadao. 9016. You may be familiar with the 9019, a great big honking pen from Jin Hao that has a number eight nib and an oversized converter and has just really made, appropriately enough, a big splash. Well, this is the 9016. It's the little brother to that pen. It does not have the number eight nib, but it does have the oversized converter, a number six screw in nib unit. This is of course, the demonstrator version, which will make it easier for us to take a look at the features, what I like, what I don't like, and how this pen writes, and how it functions and everything. So, grab your own cup of coffee, tea, or milk, and let's dive right in. All right, first, let's make that size comparison to the 9019. They look an awful lot alike, but putting them side by side, you really see the difference in these pens, and I think even the weight difference is about 10 grams worth. So this is a, a lighter pen than the 9019. It does retain much of the style. It has the same clip, trim ring, and of course again, that converter, but is smaller in pretty much every way. Now don't let it fool you. Just because it's smaller than the other pen, it is actually a pen of some size, and I'll show you that in the regular size comparison here in a moment. But we'll start at the top, which is, of course, just that cigar shape domed in. You will notice there is a little bit of a dimple there, and there is a dimple down here, and this one is a breathing dimple. So it's not just a molding thing. This is actually because there is air travel through the end of that pen. So one of your first questions might have been, is it going to work as an eyedropper? And the answer is no, you can blow air through the end of that pen. You could seal it and make it an eyedropper, but as it is at the moment, it is really not compatible with that. You come down from that dome top to that clip, and of course you can see that it comes out of the cap just as it did in the other pen. It makes a right turn down to that BB'd end. It's pretty stiff on this one, and I can't remember. Let's see. Yeah, I guess they're both about the same thing. So pretty stiff. You know, one of my only concerns long-term durability would be that it's so stiff that I guess it could eventually cause some stress issues here, especially on this clear acrylic model. And uh, so you might consider that, but in terms of function, it's fine. It just holds on tight. Then we come down to that gold trim ring, which says Jin Hao and Da Dao and number 9016. I like that all that information is there and it looks good. It has a nice little taper down to the body, which itself tapers down to that other domed in. Taking the cap off will take one, two, and three quarter turns. So not too bad, but you know, in a meeting, in a hurry, maybe you might want to think about that. Does post very securely. It is not at all heavy, so it is nice and balanced when posted and comfortable enough. Just like on the other pin, this kind of hits right at my hand, but because of the shape of it, doesn't bother me at all. The grip section is pretty much Standard fare. It's just a straight line there. There is a bit of a stop before your hand might slip off, but not really much of one. You do have threads here. They're not very tall threads, so they don't really bother you at all. Even if you feel them there, they're not uncomfortable, so I find that just fine. It's similar to that 9019 in feel here as well, except that it is definitely smaller. So it is still big. It's a thick pen. I'll show you that in the specifications. But if that 9019 was just a little bit too much for you, this is probably going to be pretty nice for you. The pen is nice and long, so even writing with it uncapped is pretty comfortable for most hands. And that brings us to that nib. This is a two-toned number six nib. This is a medium, and you will notice that it is a screw-in nib unit. We can see that here, plain as day, can't we? With that Jinhao chariot on the nib unit itself inside that demonstrator grip. I like their number six nibs and I like their new mediums. So I expect that this will be a really nice writing pen, but we'll have to see. This is a first impressions review. It could always be a dud on camera. You never know. A little bit of suspense there. Just hang on. We're getting there. We're getting there. Turn that around and you'll find that standard plastic feed, which at this point looks pretty clean. But believe it or not, when I clean this pen, this nib had been dip tested and had some blue ink still on that feed. And it just amazes me that they actually dip test 
a seven and a half dollar pen and that seven and a half dollars shipped to the US included. And that's just a hard bargain to beat. When you open up that barrel, of course, this is a demonstrator, so you probably already saw it. You will notice that there is metal here for the threads and for the converter and feed assembly right here. And you will notice that there is an O-ring right there, and I really like that. Just reduces some of the stress here on the plastic. It also means that if you did seal off the end, you could more easily make this an eyedropper. And I've said it before, I'll say it again, I like that more and more pins are including those O-rings. This is a screw-in converter with approximately a two milliliter capacity, so a really big converter. If you're not doubling your ink capacity, you're coming awfully close. And I've found so far these function quite fine. I did notice that they've changed something. This now has just the clear plastic knob for operating that piston, which is a change from when this first came out on the 9019. And uh, I think that's because, I mean, I really like the look of this, and I think that was a really nice touch, but there were some complaints from a lot of pen users that this made their pen rattle. I think it just kind of rattled against the barrel. And so I'm going to guess that that's probably not so much cost cutting, although I guess it would do that, wouldn't it? But probably even more, it solves that rattle issue. All right, so just how big is this pen? Well, we have here, of course, that 9016, and then we have the Majan C4, an eyedropper demonstrator that I think compares nicely to this pen. And then, continuing our theme, here is another demonstrator. This is the Pen BBS. Still comparable in size, but not quite the same style as the other two. Also a cartridge converter pen, and one that can be eyedropper. This is the Model 491. And then we have the Sailor Compass, also a demonstrator in cartridge converter pen. And of course, the smallest in our comparison today, if you have a Jinhao 992, going to be about the same size as that Sailor Compass. And perhaps for something a little bit more familiar, there it is next to a Pilot Metropolitan. Here are the pins in their unposted length, which is dramatically different in this lineup of pins. And here are the pins in their posted length. All right, let's ink this pin up. And that's not bad for a fill on the first try, is it? Pretty good. And the ink today is a Birmingham Pen Company ink called Burnt Charcoal. It's a nice brown-black ink that I think has shading pretty close to its name. Nice wetness there from this pen. Pen is really comfortable in hand, and I'm writing with it unposted, just out of habit more than anything else. I find it comfortable regardless. Good flow. I like the line. Smooth. Paper, by the way, is Pen and Gear from Walmart. This is a dot grid spiral made in India, and it's Really inexpensive, a couple of dollars per spiral, and really it plays pretty nicely with most inks. I think it does with this one as well, and uh, just a handy paper to have around. I'll put a link in the description below. Let's do our, our speed test with this pen. As always, I'll do this in real time. Light pressure. Yeah, that did really quite well. Thinned a little there. I think that was my grip. Same here. Uh, yeah, that's doing really well. So let's talk about some pros and cons. I'm going to say a pro is definitely the price because I paid 
$7.50, that's U.S., and this is shipped. And that's just an incredibly good value. I'm also giving it a pro for the nib. Now, this was not a great big shock to me, but this number six medium nib is nice and smooth. Now, it is fairly stiff, I guess. Let's see. I'll probably coax just a little bit of line variation with pressure, but generally, that's all just really no pressure, just normal writing. And then if you give it just some, you get a little bit more there. So yeah, you get a little bit of line variation out of this medium nib. And overall, I just do think that it is a good nib. And the flow too is really nice. So I like that. You have to give another pro for that converter. Not just that they included one, but that it is about two milliliters of capacity. That's fantastic. It's a good converter and it's a screw-in converter, which is just even better. So a little bit more secure, holds it in place. This is one of the features that they wanted to add to this particular series of pins. And uh, I think that's great for us. Another pro I'm gonna give this one is, it is really easy to clean. It's a screw-in nib unit, everything comes apart, and I really just think that it's really easy uh, to clean this pin out. Also, because it is a screw-in nib unit, really easy to change that out. If you decide you'd rather have, you know, go from a medium to a fine or an extra fine or a bent nib, because that's possible too with these number sixes, you can also swap nibs with other nib companies like Yovo. So uh, lots of options there. You can really play around and customize the nib on this pen and uh, get it just the way that you want it. Cons? Well, you know, to be honest, maybe the only con is this is going to be a really hard pen to just say, no, nah, I'm not getting one of those. The price of entry is so reasonable and the return for that is really quite good. So uh, it may be a bit like the gremlins, that if you get them wet, they start to multiply all over your house. Uh, that, that could happen. I, I see this pen really taking off because I think it will appeal to even more people than that larger 9019 because it's, it's going to be even closer to the sweet spot of pen size than that 9019 was. I think this is going to be another hit for Jin Hao. But what do you think? Share in the comments below your take on this pen and whether or not you're interested in it. As always, thank you very much for all your input, your comments, your emails, and ideas. I always appreciate it. And God bless you. Have a great day.